Some of the most common memory issues encountered by developers include excessive RAM footprint, where an application allocates objects before they're needed and maybe for longer than necessary. The overall memory footprint of the application can be much larger than necessary, and objects frequently make it to generation 2, where they often remain for a long time. Allocating large numbers of temporary objects, as in the case of string allocation, which we saw earlier, can make the garbage collector work harder than necessary and impact performance. Every time we garbage collect, threads are partially frozen for periods of time. Memory leaks commonly occur in .NET when references to objects are held and never go out of scope. You can very often see this with collections, arrays, session state, and also delegates and events. All of these objects can keep references to classes and keep them alive for longer than necessary or keep them alive continually, causing a leak. Here are some common symptoms of memory problems. We often see this with applications where performance degrades over time and recovers on restart. Although performance improves after restart, the application degrades again. This is a classic sign of a memory leak. You'll very often see this on a server application. There's a small leak over time when the server is hit by requests, and the leak will build up eventually, causing the server to crash or the application to need restarting. Other symptoms are scalability problems and temporary performance degradation. So this is where a part of the functionality of an application suddenly runs slowly. And this very commonly is due to temporary objects, where an area of functionality is allocating large numbers of temporary objects, causing the garbage collector to work much harder and causing these freezes during collection. Memory leaks can also manifest this kind of problem. If you have sluggish performance, which doesn't improve after restarting, and other executing applications are also slow, the RAM footprint of the application is suspect and the application is using up a lot of memory, you need to investigate that and identify if all the objects that are in memory are absolutely necessary all the time. Temporary objects can also cause this kind of sluggish performance if temporary object allocation is excessive in large parts of the application. In the last slide, we're just going to look at the kind of things you could look for to identify initially if you're having some kind of memory problem. Now initially, you could use the Windows Performance Monitor counters to look for problems which you could then investigate further using tools. One of the most interesting statistics is the percentage time in GC. So this is the percentage time the application is spending in the garbage collector. Now, if this is greater than 30%, this is definitely worth looking at, looking at temporary object allocation and maybe even RAM footprint. Another interesting statistic is the number of Gen 0 collections against the number of Gen 2 collections. In a healthy application, there should be approximately a ratio of 10 Gen 0 for every 1 Gen 2 collection. If you're getting a significantly lower ratio than this, then you're getting a large number of full collections, which is really going to impact performance. And it could be that you have references that are holding onto objects for longer than necessary, causing them to be promoted. Once you've identified that there's a possible memory problem, you really need to use tools to get at the bottom of it, to look at the RAM footprint of the application, to look at high temporary object allocation, and also to look for leaking objects. Investigating root references for objects frequently reaching Gen 2 is also an extremely useful technique, but using tools is the key to finding the issue.